podcast. I can subscribe. Never ending. This until I die. I want a new podcast. Fuck the bladder cast. People looking at me like I'm a fucking weirdo. Calling my fucking intellectual podcast bladder cast. If you motherfuckers don't even watch three seconds of it. The people who do are... Uh, I know. I know what you get from it. I know what anyone would get from this. There's benefits to me, but it also seems a little bit crazy. You could say it's a little bit crazy, but I'm just recording myself. But then I I don't really even do it that much, so... What is crazy? Fucking... I know what's boring, though. This fucking guy when I'm fucking doing this shit, because I don't even fucking care anymore. I'm just doing this for myself. Ah, fucking, I'm walking all the time, I'm waking up, I'm doing crazy stuff, and I don't know who gives a fucking shit. Like, I tell people, I tell people, like, I do marathons, and I fucking walk 22 kilometers and do, like, three classes, one hour and 30 minutes a day each class. Like, how, how much is that? Like, three, four hours and 30 minutes? Uh, but then I'm fucking sitting around as well. No, I, I, do, I, do a fuck, I do a fuck ton of, like, physical shit every day, but it doesn't even, it doesn't matter. I'm happy with being alive and existing. A lot of people aren't. Maybe if I can uh, get more eyes on that and, like, give people something to see, but then people just want the same fucking shit. Ugh, fucking, and I'm a weirdo. Who else is wearing a fucking yellow jacket going around? I need to wash this shit. I'm sweating in this motherfucker. Getting cuts all over my fingers. I'm getting uh, dirty glances. And I'm getting, um, what, what is it? Smug glances as well. I'm getting smug glances from, uh, okay, a fucking, the only things that I do in my life is I watch anime, I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I complain and I walk a lot. Like, what do I have to say? And I'm in my 20s, I have nothing to say yet. I've got so much to go through. Hopefully, a bunch more fights, so that I can pretend to be the tough guy. Or maybe a bunch of intellectual stuff, like maybe I am, I see aliens, or I see some sort of other dimensional beings or whatever, and then I, I prove that I did that, and I prove that I'm not crazy. That's the thing with knowledge, it's like if you can only see, or, or data, if you can only see uh, the data, and no one else can see it, then uh, that's when people start thinking that there's something wrong with you. And there could be something wrong with you. If you see something that no one else can see... Fucking... I can see uh, insects flying around. I love, um... What are they called? Dragonflies. Dragonflies are the beasts. Dragonflies are the best. They, if you're an insect, you want to be a dragonfly. You don't want to be uh, any other insect. Especially if dragonflies are around. Do your own research on why. Oh, I, you know, I need my private masseuse, I need my private chef, I need my gaming setup, I haven't gamed in ages, I'm fucking angry. I'm not angry. I'm always good. But I won't mind, like, just knocking on uh, people's doors. I won't mind uh, having friends everywhere, like, across uh, my area. You just knock on someone's door and you get to just be in their house, you get to eat their food, you get to fuck the woman. <laughs> and then I fucking look around and there's a group of feminists who just jump and start smacking me with their handbags and screaming at me. Cis white male. Rape culture. Me too. I remember when my husband did that to me, so now I get to be angry at you, random person I've never even seen. Has that ever happened to you? Has anyone ever put their own life's bullshit onto you, and ruined your peace and quiet. And then when you get angry at them, 
they uh, they justify themselves getting even angrier at you. Have you got those kinds of people living around you? If you do, fuck that shit. Quit that shit. Every time. Don't live around cunts. Ever. So, uh, being by yourself is a pleasure compared to being around people who are pieces of shit. But it's always good to be around good people as well. The only problem is, is um, you're a human and they're humans. And so there's always going to be issues uh, on thoughts, actions, on um, ideas. Fucking... I could talk about anything. I could talk about some very smart subjects and people will still look at me and be like, oh, he's, he's a guy who made Vladikast. He's crazy. He's weird. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> and I, I, that's the extent of what I care about, people who think about me like that, just that they exist. And I can't do anything to stop people from thinking about me like that. I can't, like, go up to them and say, No, listen, I'm the smartest guy. Look, here's my credentials. Here's the stuff that I've researched. They don't give a fucking shit. There's uh, always going to be people who like you. There's always going to be people who hate you. I think it changes as well. A lot of people are, don't stay... Well, I don't, I don't know. I've, uh, from my experience, people will change. And some people change rapidly. Some, I I haven't really met anyone who. No, I've met some people who never change, and they're just the same fucking people all the time. They make the same mistakes. They they do the same things. And I guess a bunch of people do that as well because you go and you go and do your job and you work and then you do that for years. Or or me, I I do the same fucking shit. I wake up. I walk to the fucking gym, I fucking train, I come here, I sit, I record some videos. We're just all doing the same fucking bullshit. You look at the fucking insects, they're flying around the same way, everything is just the fucking... doing the same thing over and over and over again. My, my little variation is I might buy myself like some crisps or an energy drink or something. I don't really fucking doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what I do in life. All these fucking people say, it doesn't matter what you do in life. It doesn't matter what anyone does in life. You can just do whatever the fuck you want. We're all going to die. And that's not even cynicism or like depression. That's uh, reality. Fucking based in reality. Sometimes I just feel like <laughs> a, a, bla a plastic bag floating in the wind. Fucking American beauty. I'm going to start quoting American beauty. It's, uh, I like American Beauty, but it's not the best film in the world. It's got some cool stuff, but a little pretentious. It draws, um, uh, it draws the uh, people's view onto how, um, for like uh, how America and their society is uh, a. Um, Facade. Yes, I'm smart. The thing, is, the thing is, is people don't like it when you say you're smart. People like it when you say you're stupid and they're smart. I know that one. Whenever I self-deprecate in front of people, I get more people happier with me than when I start trying to act smart. Fucking humans. Why am I, why did I have to be a human? <laughs> why did I have to be a human? Why did I have all, why do I have all these weaknesses? Why do I have all these wants? Why do I have uh, dreams? Why do I have things that I need to do? Why was I born into this state where I have to deal with other humans? Fucking... You don't know some of the bullshit. You don't know some of the good shit as well, but I, I, I've dealt with so much more bullshit than good shit, and I'm not even fucking complaining. I'm not even fucking complaining about my life. I actually like my life. I, I'm lucky in many, many ways, but I have dealt with so much fucking bullshit. Like, it's crazy. The amount of fucking retarded 
stupid. But then again, like I still have my limbs. I still have my mind. I, I'm sane. I'm overweight. You know, I've got a purpose. I get to do stuff. I get to relax. I've got to deal with like bullshit, like arguments, sh people shouting at you, people trying to assault you, pe uh, people who just hate you for existing. Um, what else? All of all of the basic bullshit about being a human, like uh, injuries, hunger, fucking. I don't really have to deal with that much. I'm not like a. No, but then, why, why, why do we, um, why do we class our values by the action, by the things that we do in life, by the, why do we, fucking, what am I trying to say? Why do we class our value? Why do we? Why do we judge ourselves and think of our values on the trials and tribulations that we have had in life? Well, get on my finger, you dirty little cunt. Get on my finger, ah, oh, fucking. There's a, there's a little insect. There's like a divot in the ground here. I don't know if I can fucking show you. I don't know if the camera is pointing at it or what. Uh, can you see it? I don't know if you can see the insect as well. There's, there's a little hole, and an insect fell down, and it was just climbing up. And insects are like really small. It's uh, I don't know what kind of uh, insect that's called, but it's got it's not a millipede. It's got a bunch of legs, and it's got like a hard shell, and it's like um, an oval shape. Fucking, I don't want to record anymore. I could sit here and record for. Uh, Ten days. What am I supposed to do as a human being in this world? Am I supposed to live? Am I supposed to live for myself? Am I supposed to live for the people that uh, have helped me? Am I supposed to live for my family? There's a whole bunch of different insects around here. It's fucking cool. There's bumblebees, there's big bugs. There's horse flies trying to bite my ass. There's um, a whole bunch of different ecos. There's an ecosystem with millions of different things underground, above me. I'm gonna climb on my fucking bullshit. It's trying to climb on my fucking bags. All these different insects. They fucking flew away. <sighs> fucking human life. That's the fucking shit that makes me angry, like, life, my life, and the, the, f and people, people thinking that their life has value, and my own belief that my life has value, and I can't even fucking delve into that too much, or I'm just gonna, you know, completely disconnect from being a human, I'm gonna go into some sort of state where I'm I'm like at peace within my own body and people are gonna say that I'm in comatosis and I'm crazy or whatever and they're gonna put me in a facility to try and figure out like what's wrong with me but really I'm just at peace with everything and existing and being alive until I die but, but I, got, I don't have to do anything I don't have to prove anything to any, anyone I don't have to do anything I, I have to survive and I don't want to suffer. I know what it's like to be freezing cold uh, at uh, night, outside, in, in the rain, your fucking shit, my body fucking shutting down and my back getting absolutely fucked up with zits and cuts and all of this fucking bullshit from sleeping outside and the fucking dirt and the insects, all this bullshit. I, I, I guess that was like the worst, probably the worst period of my life was the times where I had to 
sleep outside in the freezing cold because I could have dry, I could have actually died doing that, and that's not even a joke. That's uh, and um, what's the best what's the best feeling I've ever had in my life? I don't fucking know. You can you can tell exactly what I like uh, after I say this. Oh, is he a sex guy? Is he a food guy? Um, probably. What's the best feeling I've ever had in my life? I don't know. I've had I've had many good feelings, like getting my blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, saying a funny joke, making people laugh, like being really quick and witty. That's that's always cool because it's always cool to be like ah yeah I'm I'm quick I'm witty I'm 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 smart. It's always cool to think that you're smart or really tough or like it's always it's always a nice feeling to know that you're the best in an area. Uh, but then, but then it's also good to no you you know I I f I feel like learning. I can't really uh, put my finger on the best feeling ever, but like. Uh, definitely learning in general, like learning something new or seeing something that I haven't seen before, something weird, something interesting to me, something unique. But I don't even know what uh, unique is because unique isn't good or bad and you can't tell, you can't create unique, unique is unique. There's, there's interesting things about uniqueness and being unique. I'm fucking out of here. I, I, I'm just gonna be here talking to myself about um, not controversial. What what what's it when it not esoteric? What's the word when it's like um, weird, but weird in a smart way? Oh, fucking, I don't really like being around people. Imagine if I was just here talking about, like, and I just, at least, sw swap subject. Whenever someone's, like, walking near me, I just start talking about porn, or I start talking about, uh, like, uh, diseases or something. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, I don't think this is a private bench. I've been sitting here for years. Damn it. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching another Bladdercast. Uh, wait until I get my million subscribers in like 20 years or whatever when I'm doing Twitch and I'm being a fake, you, uh, I'm being a, a fake streamer and I'm never saying any bad words like the N-word. Yeah, I just, I just start being really racist whenever people come near me and I start being really, uh, like, um, jittery and like acting like I'm on, uh, some fucking hardcore cocaine and fucking six energy drinks and I've met so many people in my life I've met a ton of interesting people I've met scary people I've met ooh I've met some sexy people too and um even some sm uh have I ever met a smart sexy person you don't really meet those kinds of people they're like one in a billion one in a million there are some people that are just one in a million that you'll never meet. Or you'll you'll only meet like once or twice. And you're lucky if you get to see them every day. I don't even know what, what kind of people they're like. And I got friends. I guess you could call that one in seven billion. How many friends do I actually have? How many real friends do I have? I have different levels of friends. There's like levels of friends. But then if you say that, it's kind of like... Um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, being too cyborg. I'm being too robo. I don't have any friends who die for me. I know that shit. I die for some people. I don't give a fucking shit. Would I? Would I die to save some random fucking person? <laughs> Fuck her. No, I, I actually can't say, uh, my true thoughts about that. Should anyone die for another person? Should anyone... People do die for other people. 
people cause other people to die, but should anyone actually give up their lives for another person? What is the value of a life, of a human life? I guess it's, uh, everyone has their own opinion on that shit. <sighs> Fucking bye. Artificial intelligence, please. Um, absorb me. Let me live forever as a portion of your, um, incredible memory banks. Incredible, uh, being. It's like, we, we need, we need the smartest, we need some humans to, uh, be part of our, our system. Get that, uh, boy's brain. Blobby blabber. Like the cast. Like and subscribe so I can stretch and sleep all day and watch One Piece. I'm on, um, like season four, part two now or something like that. Adios, mi amigos. I die tomorrow. No, I'm not gonna die tomorrow. When am I gonna die? When I die, I can stop filming this shit. Fucking thank you for watching. I love all of you. Even the people who have committed heinous crimes as well. And uh, I don't like feminists. I mean, I do like feminists. But only when they're on my side. Okay, I'm fucking out of here. I'm actually trans. And um, so you can't actually hate me. Because I'm not a cis white male. I'm a trans white a cis male. I'm, I'm, I'm trans. I'm Christian. I'm Christian in disguise. And it was me. I did it all. Every crime I committed, and oh, fucking hell, I don't even want to talk about Chris Chan. This is like the first time I've ever talked about Chris Chan on Bladdercast, and that motherfucker's. Uh, how many people are like that in the world? Incinerate all of them. <laughs> Get the Nazis back. It's time to, it's time to turn those ovens on one more time. Is that, is that, oh no, now YouTube's gonna take me down for hate speech, oh man, just because I said the magical uh, n-word, and it wasn't even the uh, bad one, it was Nazi, I can't even allude to burning people, or anything, I can't allude to any crimes, everything that I said, um, I meant in Minecraft, see? And and you and people still take down my fucking video because I'm because edgy comedy is fucking ugh, edgy comedy is uh, toxic masculinity you now fucking me too, me too. I actually have a me too story. My dad and my dad beat the shit out of me throughout my childhood. Here we go again with the fucking sub stories. Fucking my mum beat me too. Fucking out of here. My mum hit me. My dad beat me because women are weak. So they can So when they think they're beating you, they can only like they have to use weapons against you. I got a fucking hard um, brush broken over my head. Try to throw out TV remotes and phones in my fucking face. Fucking grimy bitch. My own mum was one of the bitches that you dump and get a, get a new stable one. She was uh, my dad didn't fucking dump that bitch because he's a grimy fucking pedophile as well. Fucking okay, I'm out of here. Have to end it on a fucking angry, on a fucking ooh boo hoo sad note. Ooh hoo, my life. Ooh boo hoo. I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna go and eat some fucking crisps and watch One Piece and enjoy my fucking life. I've got people in cars fucking watching me because I'm, I've been sitting on this bench for too long. I'm not allowed to sit on the bench for too long. Or people start uh, asking questions. Why is that boy sitting on the bench? Because I'm fucking tired, you cunts. If you fucking did what I did. Okay. I'll complain later. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I will complain more. Bladdercast. Let's change it to uh, uh, the boy keeps on complaining and he's a bitch ass N word as well. Uh, except I beat people up. And I get beaten up as well. I got my uh, honker funked. I got, I got punched in the nose so many times, I don't know how my nose isn't broken. I've cried from being punched in the nose, like, involuntarily. I'm not a pussy. But you get punched in the nose and tears just start going out of your fucking eyes. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and then you can't fucking do anything, especially if you're against a good guy. He can just blast you in the fucking head all day. That, that's, I'm, I'm better at, at ground game. 
But then I still get fucked up on the ground by good people as well. They gave me the fucking leg locks and wrist locks. And he got my fucking left wrist popped. And there's nothing I could do. It went on for in, in like a split second. And it's like, you can't fucking tap that fast. That's like, cranks and shit is fucking nasty. Cranks and, are just fucking nasty, man. People can just throw them on in like two seconds and it's, it's torn your fucking shit and you can't even fucking... And, and they do it in training as well. Like, grimy fucking people do that. And then I, I've, I've confronted people as well. Some people have fucking... Look at these fucking guys shouting at me because I'm sitting on a bench. Or are we just shouting to each other? I don't fucking know. Well, I'm fucking out of here anyway. Uh, fucking. You'd think that, um, the cities are a bad place to be. Nah. Try going to the countryside. You get people fucking around with you all day in the countryside. I don't know how many more people are gonna fuck with me throughout this experience. This joyous experience that is life. I'm being a bitch. Thanks for watching.